Hi kids, it's Pastor Gio here. For those of you who are born in the month of February, I just want to say, happy birthday. Sending my love to you. Hey kids, welcome to Young! It's me, Miss Giffy. Do you love playing games? I do too. But you know what's important of any game? The rules. If there are no rules, the game is just going to be chaos. Well, the Bible teaches us so many rules for our lives. But everything that God teaches us in the Bible can be summed up into two rules. Let's find out what they are in today's lesson. Before we get into it, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. We are so excited to hear more about you. Please prepare our hearts and our mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 36 through 40. The book of Matthew, the very first book in the New Testament, was written by, you guessed it, Matthew. Now, even though he was a tax collector and disliked by others, he became one of Jesus' followers. And years later, he wrote an eyewitness account of the things that Jesus said and did. For example, he tells us of the day that the religious leaders tried to trap Jesus with a trick question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? The religious leaders followed 613 different laws. 
They wanted Jesus to pick just one law so Jesus would get in trouble for leaving out the other 612 laws. But Jesus didn't fall into their trap. Instead, he took this opportunity to show everyone that following God doesn't have to be complicated. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Now, Jesus wasn't saying that the other 611 laws were wrong. He was only saying that if you look at every choice in your life through the lens of loving God and loving others, you won't go wrong. If you love God and love people, you will fulfill all the other laws. It's truly that simple. Often, it's in our darkest times that we find the most amazing opportunities to show love to others. In the past year, due to COVID-19, we've seen a lot of people put themselves on the line to help others. Doctors, nurses, medical workers, but we've also seen grocery store cashiers and delivery workers put themselves at risk of getting sick. So each of us could have the food and supplies we need. That's love in a big way. And you know what? Young people and kids have stepped up too. In Reno, Nevada, a college student named Jade Powell recruited a few friends to help elderly people buy their groceries during the pandemic. Within a few days, the idea took off. More and more volunteers jumped in to help shop and drop off groceries on the doorstep of older individuals. Within weeks, shopping angels reached all 50 states and other countries too, all because one student saw a need and chose to stop and show God's love. Sometimes showing love to others only takes a few minutes. In Columbus, Ohio, Taryn, who is nine, and Calliope, who's six, knew their elderly neighbor loved classical music. Because she was in isolation and couldn't go out, they took a concert to her front porch. For 30 minutes, they played a private cello concert just to brighten her day. It was a simple and amazing way to show love to others. Let's look at one more story. In Portland, Oregon, a high school junior named Julia Lynn quickly realized that with school closed, some kids and families would not be able to get enough to eat. She put out the word online in her community, requesting food donations. Within days, she received over 400 responses. Julia picked up each donation herself, and with the help of the school student government, she set up distribution centers where families in need could pick up the food. In helping provide food to hungry people, Julia was clearly showing God's love in action. God loves us so deeply. He's done so much for us, it's our responsibility to take that same love and show it to others. As Paul reminds us in the book of 1 Timothy, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also, set an example in how you love in what you believe. Don't wait for somebody else to go first. Now is your time. Now is your chance to love God by loving others. So, did you guys get the two most important rules? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like, love your neighbor as yourself. Love God and love others. All the other rules in the Bible fall under these two commandments. So even we can remember all the rules in the Bible because there are a lot of them, we just need to remember to love God and love others. And it's time for our key passage. Our key passage for this month is taken from Matthew 22, verse 37 until 39. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second one is love your neighbor as yourself. ask you a question and the answers will appear on the screen but the letters will be jumbled up so we have to figure it out okay let's do it together first question what is the first book of the New Testament and the letters are A T E H M W and T what is it guys you're right it's Matthew Alright, second question. 
So there's two words in this question, okay? Be ready. Who tried to trap Jesus with a trick question? All right, the letters are G I R E O U S L I. And for the second word is L D E R E A N S. Yes, that's right. Religious leaders. All right, third question. You have to fill in the blank, okay? The two greatest commandments are blank God and blank others. And the letters are E V L O. You know what it is, guys. Yes, it's love! Good job, everyone! That's it for today, kids! I hope you had a great Sunday with us. We also have exciting videos for you throughout the week, starting from Monday and Wednesday. Don't forget to check it out. We also have our Zoom classes later this afternoon. But before we go, let's pray. Dear Jesus, Wow, you are so amazing. Thank you for reminding us to love you more every single day and to love other people. And we commit this week into your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.